Good morning. It is 6:43. Welcome back to Great Day. Well, we are smiling around here because look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. It is Chuck Rennes from Rennes Greenhouse because it is. Is it time yet? Is it time yet? A is great day to yet? grow it. I think it's time. Jason I'm says. Yes. Yeah, Jason says the next uh, week, 10 days is good. And yep. It's. Uh, it's it's definitely go time now and and uh, people's out and about so it's time to do it and Absolutely. I had a discussion about you yesterday with the weather being as nice as it, w as it was and I noticed that there's some bulbs that are popping up in one of the flower beds I was going to till up but a lot of them popping up right now so I may have to postpone tilling that you have up. to wait a little while tulips or do you know what they I'm are I'm not even sure what they are they, it just there's they're bulbs just there. of some kind mm -hmm. Yeah, mo most of the tulips, a lot of tulips are blooming around town now and stuff. And, and, yeah, Pella uh, is beautiful right yeah, now. Yeah, and, and again, I come by the dairy in the mornings, and boy, they're just top-notch over there at the dairy. They look mm. really nice. But And, you know, that's another thing a lot of people kind of wait on to, to plant their beds. That's the, another telltale sign when the tulips are gone. Then it's go time. So that's a good uh, point. That's yeah. a good way to measure it. Yeah. So it is a great day to grow it. Uh, yep. It's time to go. It's it's go time. So we've got a lot of nice stuff out there, and the people are coming out, and and uh, it's it's go time. Well, I stopped out yesterday and then got a few things, and then you were very busy. Uh, picked up some tomatoes. I put them in the ground. Here's uh, your. I think wow. it's your farthest uh, east greenhouse. And it's kind Look of at all those plants blown hangers. away by the hanging baskets. I, I've never seen a place with more hanging baskets than, than Rennes. Yeah, we, and that's just one building. We do about 6,000 baskets out there, and those, uh, those, uh, oh, that's, <laughs> that that, 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 that's Jason's new friend. Yeah, he, uh, he is one of the, uh, he's a, uh, one of the uh, youth uh, leaders from up at, I think that's Immaculate Hearts guy. Okay. Very and, nice. Uh, they do a fundraiser with us, and, uh, him and Jason got to be pretty good buddies out there, and uh, but yeah, the greenhouses are just beautiful now. And uh, this is traditionally now the next ten days. Everybody gives uh, mom a basket for Mother's Day, so um, that that's our big seller for the next few days. Is uh, all right. So what what are we looking at cost wise for a basket for mom? Well, I've got this is a we have those. Uh, that's a ten beautiful. inch. Um, that's called a pomegranate punch. And there's a lot of those. Uh, that, that's a new one this year. There's a lot of uh, in the in the punch family, but there's grape punch, which is you know purple with the dark throat, and strawberry punch, and there's just a ton of them, and those are really nice. Um, we have those for twenty one ninety five, ten inch basket. Then these are the larger twelve inch baskets, and uh, those are twenty nine ninety five, and those are all combos. I've showed those before, mm -hmm. but they have uh, they have three or four different plants in and them. And these stuff. sun or shade. Uh, these are both sun, both sun. We we do do some uh, some shade ones. There are some fuchsias out there, just some uh, you know green wandering Jews and plants like that and stuff, and uh, some Torini and stuff. And there are some nice shade ones too, but. But uh, these are for sun. These are for sun. And pretty much, you just have to keep them watered. Now, is that pretty much it? Oh, ha. Good segue. Water, <laughs> water, and jacks. We uh, th again. This is one of the best fertilizers. Everything. Um, all of our fertilizer is made by jacks. We we fertilize every time we water. This is a top-notch stuff. We sell a lot of this. And uh, okay. if you want your baskets to do well, uh, a shot of this. Uh, like I say, we use this every time we water. But if you use it. Uh, you know, once a week or what have you and stuff, on everything except your tomatoes. Tomatoes, yes. Because then you end up yes. with leaves and not tomatoes. Yeah, then right? you end up with leaves. And but not they are. They would be very, very tall, though. They'd be. Yeah, yeah you do, <laughs> if you're going for tall and stuff, you can. If you're going for big, you can uh, you can go that direction. So. And once um, a day on the baskets. Yeah, well, you, you know, people always ask me that, and it's hard to say. You know, this time of year. Um, you know, once a day, maybe every other day. But you know, as, as the year progresses, um, you know, those days in August, I have those big uh, purple wave baskets I hang out by the street. And uh, in, in August, you know, every morning and every night when I get there, I have to water them. There's sometimes when I have to water them at lunchtime mm -hmm. too. So it just depends. I mean, once that plant, you know, if you got a plant that's hanging down four or five feet, that thing uses a lot of water, and, and all it's got is that little dirt ball. So sure. it, it takes some water. Sure. It, it takes some water and stuff. Makes sense. So if you guys have so. any questions, because that's what I always do. I either don't water enough or I overwater. You guys have some great recommendations uh, for that. Yeah, and, and, and that's why I say it's just, you, you know, the, the best way is if you lift that basket, you can tell how heavy that basket is. And if that basket is halfway heavy, that means it's a... Uh, 
it, you, you know, it's wet and stuff. If you pick it up and it flies over your head because it's so light and it's dry, <laughs> and, it's so more and, you water 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 and, more. and you don't need much jacks. Like, it, isn't it like one of the scoop inside there's, there's a, a little spoon water? there, which is I think like a tablespoon, a tablespoon in a gallon jug of water, and, and shake that up and uh, put on there and stuff, and uh, away you go. Just a just a tip. I knew a guy one time that uh, he used his uh, milk carton uh, to mix this up, and they use that. Uh, milk cartons to make Kool-Aid for the kids and stuff too so he had a he had a blue jug of this sitting on the counter and the kids poured a big glass of it on ice and uh, um they taste go. the same. They, yeah. they grew three inches Boy, in yeah, 12 hours. Yeah. Yeah. What, you know, we had our golden retriever out at the greenhouse for 13 years, and that he was a 120-pound golden retriever, which was quite large. He drank Jack's fertilizer for 13 years. <laughs> That's all he would drink. Is he, he, would only, he wouldn't drink out of his bowl. He only drank water out of the end of the hose, and it was full of fertilizer all the time. And, and, w and we talked to the vet, and he said, well, it, it, he looks at me, well, it's just minerals and stuff, he says. Oh, really? And, yeah. And, and and like I say, he lived a good long life, and uh, so I, I wouldn't. Rec I'm not I recommending don't, that you no, feed. Don't, don't yeah, make Jax it your new is not drink. an energy yeah. drink. Jax <laughs> yes. is an energy drink for plants. That's right. Yeah, yeah I don't recommend that. Right. But it's. Uh, um, and, and then Jason, did you got your cabbage and stuff in the ground? The cabbage is in. The broccoli, broccoli that I got in. from you is in. The tomatoes are in. I yeah. haven't planted the seeds yet, but hopefully today, because yeah. I, I don't see any freezing weather. Yeah. No, like I say, I think I think we're home free now. And uh, you know, we we thought that the last two years, though, and it's kind of snuck up and, and bit us. And yeah. you know, we just I had a big big time frost out there just a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, when I'm yeah. driving out and went by Woodland Hills Golf Course, and it was just snow white out there so yeah, we, we we were cold the other day was it was it monday or tuesday yeah there's yeah. some early mornings that it's like oh it's yeah. still a little chilly out yeah. yeah but i tell you it is nice and we we went to uh, lion king last night opening night at that and it's so joyce drags me down there all the time usually it's in the winter it was so nice to come out of there last night and it was warm and it right. just was great and uh, so it was a good night last night all right so know. people need to stop by uh, Rennes greenhouse couple yep. locations yep come on and see us joyce and i and dugan are on uh, 70th just west of camp dodge and gary and jackie are doing a great job down in Boonville and uh, they're down there and we're uh, both open seven days a week now so come down and, and see us. And what's, the, what's the black cat's name? Um, the black cat's name is black cat or seven or cat or you know that cat just came there about that cat's been there for 20 years. Jeez. And she just came there 20 years ago and it, it's just been there ever since. <laughs> the thing's so fat now, it can't hardly waddle around out there. That's and a Dugan's going to be on with us next week? And we're going to bring Dugan down Dugan. next okay. week. All right. yeah. But speaking of Dugan, you said you're going to have a Mother's Day special. If yeah, you and, and we're going to, yeah, what what would what'd you just come up we with? We said Dugan Deal. So if you go up to Chuck or Joyce. Yep, Dugan Deal next week, and we're going to come up with that, and we'll uh, save you some money for some uh, hanging baskets. And for we'll Mother's tell you about Day, it right so, here next yeah, week. Yeah, we'll tell you about it next week on uh, Perfect. on Great Day here. Nice. All right, man. Well, good to see you. We'll see you, you next week. Thanks, guys. It is 10 minutes before 7 o'clock when we come back. We're going to tell you where you can find more bars.